as the visitors Tamaki Ki Te Tonga come out and they'll take on the under 18 Waikato Mana your visiting side lines up as follows Twaiti Ramsey wearing the one Johnson Tuparangi wearing the two three is Jericho Filippi Talisau number four Tiu Junior Leilua number five Manasse Junior Lokotui number six Jamie Junior Te Wata Hidawini Holmes wears the seven number eight Sione Siulua AJ Sia wearing the nine Francis Tuyo Maunga wearing the number 10, 11, Kalis Fatialofa, number 12 is Te Waka Popata Hinare, number 13, Alvin Chong Ni, number 14 is Cameron Tuipulotu, Zachariah Stevenson wearing the 15, 16 is Darius Filippo Fayumu, number 17, Satani Loamanu, number 18 is Leon Richard. The coach of Tamaki Kitetonga, Louis Papali'i. For the home side, the Waikato Mana. They line up as follows Reynald Fino wearing the one, Kaya Tafira wearing the two, Kairis McCorkendale wearing the three, Witara Punakai wearing the four, Patrick Taitoko wearing the five. Number six, Marakai Aumua. Number 12 is Te Otuia Cohen. Number eight, Rua Moko Hitetuaro. Mahaki Wilson wearing the nine, 10 is Noah Tuhakaraina. Hohepa Wilson in the 11, 19 is Luki. Number 13 is Kono. Papita Pinagestro, Harrison Lange wearing the 14, 18 is Zaris uh, Marriott, Via Fino wearing the 16, 17 is Timana Kora, and Jaden Mania Poto Clancy wears the 20 today. Your coach is Reynard Haggy. <laughs> Just apologise uh, to all those names that I absolutely made a meal of. Yeah, match managers cards. Not the greatest here. Uh. Shout out Quinton. Nah, I love you brother. Alright, here we go. As the teams make their way out to the middle. Your man in the middle to take control of this one, Jack Epiha. And touch judges McGregor and Watene.
how good is that? Greeted with a haka, the boys from South Auckland now will kick this one off. Referee Epiha getting ready to kick us off as the boys from South Auckland do their final prayer. Uh, a bit of confusion here as uh, it's actually White Kato that will kick us off to get us started in this match. The second round of the under 18 Steam Bell Cup. The Mana take on Tamaki Kite Tonga. Here we go. Time is on. It's a tough carry. First up, unfortunately, loose carry, but no referee. Ipiha has seen a hand in it. And uh, the time Kikita Tonga will get a penalty early on. Tamaki fine touch now on halfway. Good opportunity here early on for the boys from Auckland to put some points on the board early. Nice little footwork there, Sean. As Tamaki now make their way down into the red zone of the mana. Fortunately, trying to catch the ball in behind them means a bit of a handling error there, and uh, they'll give the ball back to Waikato. Some tough contact here in the center of the field as Waikato bring this ball out of their own red zone. And it's a kick early here. As now Tamaki Kititonga will start there. Fresh set of six on the 40 meter line. run here as Tamaki make their way 
to attack the line. They put the kick in, it's touched here. And it's bounced up in favour of Tamaki Kike Tonga. And uh, our try scorer to start things tonight, uh, today is JJ Te Fata. Te Fata. For the boys from South Auckland. Bounce of the ball. Doing a bit of a leg spinner on the uh, fullback there for Waikato. Bit of a tribute there to the late Shane Warne. Absolute legend with the ball. There's <laughs> Almoa now lines this one up. And Holmes makes no mistake with that one, and Tamaki Kitatonga start off with a hiss and a roar, six points to nil now. Ten minutes into the half. Heads up, boys, eh? Hey, heads up! Here we go. Restart a play. Here we go. Tough carry straight up the guts. And he's met by three Waikato defenders. make a little half breakdown on the left hand side of the field they'll play their fourth tackle 40 meters out from the try line nice hands there he's absolutely smashed off the ball and uh, referee I would assume played advantage and uh, nice try for the Tamaki Kite Tonga lads, that is Loko Tui, and he'll dot over for the second try of the match and extend the lead. Ten points to nil now with the kick to come. Holmes now will look to convert a second try for Tamaki Kite Tonga.
This is dialed in, unfortunately it goes across the face of the uprights. And that will keep the score the same. Ten points to nil. Tamaki Kite Tonga lead the Waikato Mana. And here we go, kick off, another tough carry, he's been instrumental for uh, Tamaki Kite Tonga, the prop there, it's been busy for them. The Fata too has been dangerous looking. He's thrown the first try and he's got his team a penalty. Bit of a second effort there in the tackle, says referee Ipiha. There's the Fata now, finds the touchline inside of the half of the Waikato Mana. And they'll go straight back on the attack. It's a nice settling carry there by Popata Hinari. Tefata now shapes it out the back. Nice jinking run there, back on the inside, stepped off his left and nearly beats a couple defenders as he's tackled just short of the line. Nice little offload. And fortunately the ball is knocked on or passed forward. And uh, Tawaiti Ramsey was really put under some pressure there by the Waikato defence and they've forced the error. Scrum now. Waikato ball as they'll work the ball away from their own red zone. Special mention to the parties who are at play with these new competitions. Without them, none of this would be possible. The Auckland Rugby League, the New Zealand Warriors, as well as the New Zealand Rugby League and the surrounding districts of Waikato and Northland. Unfortunately, the ball just out in front results in a handling error, and now no advantage, I would assume, here. Means first knock on referee. If we have, we'll come back out here and uh, not too sure who will receive the ball here. Yes, no advantage play. Tamaki Kite Tonga will regain possession via a scrum. 10 minutes from the line. Tefata now goes one off the rack. Nice little offload there. That's Fatia Lofa with a little bit, bit of a flick out the back, and they go short side. Holmes hits short. That's a nice chopping line there by the centre. Talisau, I believe, is the try scorer getting the chocolates in this one. Just confirm that in a moment.
Alvin Chong Ni, the try scorer there for Tamaki Kite Tonga. As Holmes lines up another kick. He's looked dangerous as well for South Auckland. And the kick is waved away. The score will remain 16 points to nil here. Straight and hard goes the Auckland prop as he has all game. This little tip on there. As they go at the back now. Holmes drops his second row back underneath. See how the dummy half finds Tefata out here on the right hand side of the field. And it's a one on one strip, and Waikato Mana get the ball back. Fortunately, Ramsey just not locking up that one as he went into contact. Strong defense there. It's the Waikato will seem to play the ball. A nice little dart from dummy half by their winger. Keeps the ball in field with a nice offload. It was Jaden Money Manaya Poto Clancy. They get the offload and they've uh, kept it alive here. Nice play by the Waikato. Mana. As Moore is now wrapped up with the ball and he'll play it on the last, just inside the half. Put the kick up now. Unfortunately, the bounce of the ball not quite going their way for Cohen. And uh, Tamaki Kite Tonga now will get the ball. Back on their own 20 meter line. Holmes now plays the ball. It's a nice tough carry there. He's still going. Nice start from dummy half. AJ Sear straight through the gap. He cuts them up. And you'll play the ball. 10 meters out from the try line now. Tamaki Kite Tonga, hot on attack. As they shape out to the left. Throw the long ball, but it's intercepted by Waikato. Unfortunately, offside. Referee Epiha. All over that one. Holmes now with the ball. All tap and go by the looks. Ah! 
They try to force the offload and unfortunately it goes to ground and the Mana now will get to work their way down the field. Out of their own half. Almoa now out from dummy half. It's a nice little start there. Ooh. Bit of a bit of a hint of it. Extra effort there in the tackle. And uh, the Mana now get a penalty. All offside on his right, says the referee. Happy out. And uh, Moore now will look to find touch. Mm. Unacceptable play the ball, says the referee, and uh, it is a penalty to the mana as the tacklers were still impeding in the ruck. And the ball carry had earned the right. As Fino takes the ball down now, just outside of the 10 meter line. They shape to go wide early, and uh, the referee is called. A penalty offside on the left hand side, and the, unfortunately, there for Tamaki oh, yeah. Kite Tonga. <laughs> And they tap and go. <laughs> Almoa now. Nice little cutout ball, and it's quick hands out here to the left hand side. Goes to ground. But the Waikato Mana still have the ball as they tackle short of the line here. They go one off the ruck. And Yuki goes short to scoring there. Three now, now trying to barge over. Referee Baha is saying still short, and uh, it's a penalty though again. It's been a couple now down in the red zone area. I wonder when uh, referee Baha will have some words, give that final warning. And there we go, it's happening right now. Patsia Lofa being spoken to as captain for Tamukiki Te Tonga. And it's time back on the Dhamma to go open. And they do a little trick play down the blind side, and it works out perfectly for the mana. As uh, Punakai dots over. Because you should uh, join me. <laughs> <laughs> 14 points now to 4 Tamaki Kite Tonga still leads this one really enjoyed that little trick play off the tap dummy the open side and come back and catch the edge of the Auckland boys napping a little bit, ball watching
as Yuki lines this one up to convert and add the extras. And there we have it. Oh, it's off the upright. What a cracking kick, though, from the touchline. And the scores will remain the same. 14 points to 4. Tanamaki Kite Tonga leading this one over the Waikato Mana. Holmes now will restart play here for us. Holmes now restarts play as he drives it low and hard straight down the middle of the field. That's free now to play the ball. There's Tuha Karana now. Takes his first. And Tachi has his flag up, which means a bit of a report, I believe. <laughs> It did look a little bit high from here. They're a lot closer than us, the referees. And uh, touch Judge McGregor. Indeed has called the high tackle. Carriers Merritt plays the ball just over halfway. They shift it. Nice pass. Yuki now out on the left edge. Cuts back in behind his own player. And is tackled just over the 40 meter line as Waikato now look to add some more points on the board. Finau's been uh, strong since entering the field. And he's still going. He's still going. Finau, nice drawing pass there by the big man. As he finds support. And the ball goes to ground. It's gone possession now. And so Toko plays the ball. 10 metres out from the try line. Almoa now out the back. Penagestro playing the ball. As they move it right, they shift it real early. One on one on the edges. Unfortunately, the cover defense here is strong from Tamaki. And they'll drag him over the touchline and regain position. Strong defense there by the middles for the Waikato Mana. You just see it. Looks to try and offload, push the pass, and unfortunately goes forward. Young men just trying a little bit too much, I think, here as uh, time winds down for the first half. So, a few more minutes remaining in this one. 
As Amua now feeds the scrum it's off the back and they move it to the right hand side. As Cohen plays the ball, we seal it back in the middle, and that's via Marriott. Cohen now out, finds his full back and a little bit of space. That's Finau. One off the rack, they try to barge over, met by some strong defense there from the Tamaki Kiti Tonga side. Cohen shifts it out here to the left. Henegestro now play the ball 10 meters out from the trial on the last. Almoa now with the ball. Yuki, sorry, puts a little kick in. Oh, and it's not cleaned up at the back there. Unfortunately, knocked on by Ramsey, and it looks like. <laughs> We'll have a handover for Waikato. <laughs> Wilson now out to Amor. Finds Marriott, who's tackled. Seven metres from the try line. Wilson now a little dart from dummy half. He's found some space in behind the ruck there and he'll go close. He's still fighting. And he's tackled centimetres out from the try line is Wilson. Almoa now out here on the left hand side. Yuki out to Finau. Finau will try and muscle his way over. And the left edge just falls up short there. Yuki straight off the ruck. Almoa, Almoa puts a little grubber in behind the, the line. It's unfortunately hits a couple of legs and doesn't go as deep as he probably would have wanted it to. And now Tamaki Kititonga will work themselves back out of their own red zone. Important here that they just complete the set really. It's been a wee while with the ball in hand. As they move it down the left hand side. Some tough contact there. Good tackle by Amor. Tefata now shifting the ball out here into the into the center of the field. And Tefata puts the kick down deep here over the head of the fullback. And Finau will have to scamper back to clean this one up, and he does. A good uh, result there for the boys from South Auckland. As Finau now brings the ball back and is tackled in a copybook one at that around the legs. Tough carry out of the red zone by uh, Clancy. Some big defense as uh, Waikato make their way down the field. Almore now kicks early. Chip and chase for himself. It's a risky play early on in the tackle count there. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out for him. So Toko now playing the ball. Unfortunately, there's a bit of an error back there. And uh, no captain's challenge here in grassroots footy, unfortunately. They might have had a case to argue with, but it uh, didn't look pretty. And referee Epi Hart just caught it up. Hmm? <laughs> Cohen feeds the scrum, Wilson off the back, finds Almore as they shifted out here to the left, met by some big defense in the middle. Yeah. 
and Wilson finds Finau. He'll play the ball just over his 40 meter line. Cohen drops Wilson back on the inside. Wilson out of dummy half. Nice little inside play. Cohen finding his his 13 lock there. Opening a bit of space. Pinagestro now playing the ball. There's a shift the ball left here. Almore out to Finau. Shapes back on the inside to I would say his relative, Finau as well. <laughs> Finau to Finau, yeah, that's right. And now Moore now out to the left hand side, puts a grubber in. Unfortunately, it's cleaned up just again. Bit scrappy there to finish the half, but that's all she wrote here. 14 points to four. Tama Kikite Tonga lead the Waikato Mana at the end of the first half. We'll be back soon for more action. Yeah, I'm 
As we return for the second half of action in this matchup between the Waikato Mana under 18s and Tamaki Kite Tonga. We have the score at 14 points to 4 as Tefata kicks us off. And Fina now will be tackled. As they start their set of six, just outside the 30, unfortunately, the ball just a little bit too low for him to regather there. And uh, Tamaki now will get first use of possession, really. play there by Tefata as uh, it's nearly intercepted by Waikato but I think it was touched in flight and uh, Tamaki will get the ball back with a fresh set of six Tefata now finds his winger shut off the rough there, off the scrum, sorry. As Tamaki now play the ball 20 metres out from the try line. Yeah. 
And AJ Sear trying to catch the markers, not square there. Z darts from dummy half and plays the ball just short of the try line now as they shift it out wide. Unfortunately, a bit of a handling error, I think, both ways there. And it'll be a double knock on and a, ha a scrum awarded to the mana. <laughs> Al Moore and Alfie's the scrum Wilson off the back finds Gestro they shifted out wide early on here Also now the dummy half comes down the blind side. Short ball there, but unfortunately is driven into touch by the 14 for Tamaki Tui Pelotu. And they'll get the ball back via a handover where the scrum would normally have been set in the past. AJC and now out to Tefata, drops his teammate back underneath as he goes close to scoring, just short of the line now. Nice little tip on at the line and that's some fantastic play there by the Tamaki Kita Tonga boys. As Satani Lomanu dots over for a try here and extends their lead 18 points to 4. With a kick to come. Tafata now lines it up to add the extras. And he does just that straight down the middle. 20 points to 4 now. Tamaki Kite Tonga lead the Waikato Mana. Yuki now to start us off again and restart a play. Nice little cut play in behind. As Tamaki now get over the advantage line. AJ Sear now to Tifata. And Wilson will wrap that one up. A nice little tip on again. Some real nice hands being shown, unfortunately, up until that point there where the ball goes to ground. But Samaki Kite Tonga now looking really dangerous with the ball in hand. Moving the ball around nicely. The big boys using a bit of skill as well with the ball as they pass it amongst themselves. 
Unfortunately, that last pass just not quite going to hand, and uh, we'll be having a scrum down or wipe out the ball. <laughs> Cohen now feeds the scrum. Wilson finds his prop on the left hand side as they settle it in the center of the field. Great tackle on Yuki there. There's a defender shot out of the line. Wilson tries his luck down the down the blind side and um, what finds his man on the inside. Back to Wilson now. They've made a little bit of a break. It's not backwards there, I would believe. Yep. Play on says the referee. Good call there. I'd agree. And Wilson will be tackled. 20 meters out from the try line. And unfortunately, an unforced error there. A bit of a knock on and advantage being played here as Tamaki will counter attack. And zero tackle says the referee as they work themselves out of their own half now. And it's a tough carry. AJC now darts out of dummy half and finds a runner in short there. As they come back down here, down this left hand side, there's a bit of space now as it starts to open up for Tamaki. They shape it out the back to Fata now with the ball. Shapes straight, bounces off his left when he's tackled. Center of the field, about five meters out from the try line. AGC are now from dummy half, hits a short ball and it looked to it open up and it did I believe but he's short of the line Tefata now out the back, Tuipilotu fires it out wide here and there's a lot of space and uh, the second rower for Tamaki Ki Te Tonga Fatsi Alofa shows through a bit of a half gap and uh, barely touched We'll score another try here for the boys from South Auckland and that'll extend the lead even further. 24 points now with the kick to come. 24 4. <laughs> <laughs> to fat and now We'll look to add the extras. And the kick is good. And the score now 26 points to 4. Tamaki Ki Te Tonga starting to really put their stamp on this game. 10 minutes into the second half here. Yuki now restarts us off with a kick at halfway. Come on, come on. 
Not a strong carry. A bit of a loose carry, though, unfortunately. And uh, referee said he's played at the ball after two people being in the tackle. Oh. Okay. Penalty Waikato Mana. As it's hit, Waito plays the ball now, 10 metres out from the try line. Wilson goes one off the ruck and finds Lange. Wilson again. And uh, players hanging around in the ruck there, interfering, will result in a penalty to Waikato. As the trainer checks out Leilua there, it was uh, looking a bit worse for wear. Maybe a bit of head contact there, unfortunately. It looks like he may be taken to the sideline to be assessed, and that is the case. And here we go, Wilson now to tap us off again. And it's a strong carry and strong defense met there by Hitet Wado. Wilson swings it out now to Yuki out to the left hand side. This is swifty work there. And they've got the try by the sounds of it. But it's a double movement, unfortunately, for the Waikato Mana. As soon as that <coughs> ball carrying arm touches the ground, you cannot promote the ball forward. And uh, referee Epiha all over that one. And Tafata now finding touch. Team is out from their own trial line. They'll work themselves way away down the field and get out of their red zone. Nice hands again. Really troubling uh, the Waikato defense as the two big boys meet again in the middle there and link up for a short pass. Tensa looks like it's been one of the key messages from the coaches and a nice break here on the left hand side by Fatsia Lofa finds Ramsey back on the inside and he'll streak away for another try for Tamaki Kite Tonga. And that'll extend the lead now to 30 points to 4 with the kick to come. Tefata will have no troubles converting this one and that'll extend the lead now 32 points to 4 Tamaki Kite Tonga really starting to hit the straps the tip-ons in the middle are causing Waikato uh, a lot of headaches
As Yuki now will get us started again. Referee Pihak blows his whistle and we're on. Some big contact there in the middle. As they go short side now, they find a little bit of space out there. And it'll be second tackle. And they're hot on the tack straight away in this in this set. Some nice late footwork there shown by Faumu. As they go short side again. And what a set after points being scored. That is definitely what the coach would have been after. And uh, Lokotui will go in for another try as uh, Tamaki Kititonga now look to move the ball a lot more and play a bit more freelance football. And they extend the lead again, 36 points to four with the kick to come. Te Fata now will look to convert this try from way out. And it's waved away. No change to the score here. 36 points to 4. Tamaki Kite Tonga leading the Waikato Mana. Cut-out ball there by Tefata. Finds his winger way open with no man on him. Steps back on the inside and beats the fullback, but then is uh, wrapped up by some cover, cover defence there. There's a bit of uh, confusion, and uh, there has been a knock-on call. And Waikato now will get the ball back. Seems an age since they've had it, and uh, let's see what they can do with it now. As they'll start this one, 10 metres out from their own try line with a scrum. Yeah. Wilson now off the back of the scrum. Cohen comes out now to the right hand side of the field. As Fatialofa 
wraps up the ball carry there. Ball goes behind Cohen, unfortunately. He has to pick up the scraps. And met by some hard defense as well. and go there by Almore and Wilson kicks from dummy half inside his 40 meter line it's a good kick if it can find touch and it'll go close but Ramsey cleans it up just before it goes into touch and uh, we'll try to bring this one back unfortunately he tries to go back down the sideline and Yuki as well as another team member from Waikato bundle him into touch uh, and we've got a report here from the touchy. And it's a penalty to Auckland as uh, it's been decided that Howard was called and the continuation of the tackle was after that command. So Tamaki get out of jail there and uh, they'll get to work themselves. Down the field, again. Nice carry by AJC. It gets the offload too. This is fantastic play by the Aucklanders. And that's a good tackle around the legs. There's the Mana hold on there. Fatal Ufa gets the offload. Tully Sale now with the ball. AJC at half now. Nice step back off his right hand side and unfortunately the referee Watane says that uh, Tuparangi there has lost the ball forward and unfortunately won't be a try. Lost in goal means it's a 20 metre restart. Seven tackle set now for the mana. Gives them an opportunity to build some pressure and make their way down the field. Oh, Moore now plays the ball to Wilson and he finds the number 15 out there for Waikato. <coughs> Wilson now finds our Moore. Our Moore shapes to go back inside and then pops it off to his left. And now they're wrapped up just short of the half there on the left hand side and Almore puts a kick up to the heavens and Ramsey's underneath it and he takes it cleanly. Bit of a stop stutter step, gets the offload now and there's some space out here on the left hand side for the Aucklanders. Tupurangi now taking the ball close to the 50 metre mark now. It's Tali Sal takes a carry from dummy half and uh, gets himself about 10 meters there AJC now nice little show back on the inside then hits the short ball and he's managed to find a gap and a bit of the basketball pass over the top back on the inside and uh, Tamaki Kitarangi throwing the ball around a bit now score another one and that is Leon Richard Referee Epiar points to the spot and this will extend the lead now 40 points to 4 Tamaki Kitarangi uh -huh. Tamaki Kite Tonga Now extending the lead Let's 
And Richard converts to try. That extends the lead. Jeez, yeah, man, he's been uh, dangerous out of dummy half and finds Ramsey in support back on the inside as Wilson just grabs a jersey. Pene Gistro helping him out there. And that's a strong carry back on in behind the ruck. And he's too big, too strong to stop there. Siula. Siulua. Scoring just right hand side of the upright and uh, the lead is extended now 46 points to four with the kick to come There we go, Richard would line up this one now to take the score out. Two points further, and he does just that. 48 points to four now. Tamaki Kitetonga is starting to run away with this one. Special mention to the Narawahia Panthers celebrating their 110th year down here in League Park. Big contact here in the center of the field. Both sides, attack and defense. Got a bit of an injury there, unfortunately, coming in for the big hit. Has uh, come off second best. Maybe some friendly fire as well there involved. And 
We'll have time off, says referee Epiha. There we go, penalty awarded, unfortunately, shoulder charge there by the Waikato Mana side and uh, Tamaki now will build some more pressure. Richard now straight off the tap. Nice cut out for AJ Sia. And he finds Siolua completely unmarked and he strolls through to score another try. And that'll bring up the half ton. 52 points now to four. Tamaki Kiti Tonga leading this one with the kick to come. And Richard will convert this one with no trouble at all. 54 points to four now. Tamaki Kite Tonga winning this one. Almora now gets us started again. Off the back fence, this guy has been lethal for Tamaki Kite Tonga. Powerful. Tui Maunga. Hails from Mangere East, I believe. Tough to carry. They shape out the back now, out the back again now. Ramsey off some shape. Darts back on the inside off his left hand. And he's still going. Beats the fullback one on one. And Ramsey's going to go all but all the way and tries to offload it off the ground. Unfortunately, as soon as that. Ball carrying arm touches the ground. It is a dead ball. Can't look to offload after that. And uh, Waikato will get the ball back now. They find touch now. 25 meters from their own try line. We got time off here as uh, 
I'm one of the trainers aides to a bit of cramp, I believe. Tom back on and we're back. There's Waikato now, shift it to the middle to settle. Shows and goes himself. Not dangerous there for a minute. Or the mana. Uh, Moore now puts a nice little grubber in behind the line there and uh, penalty blowing for late shot on the kicker bit of a late shot there on our Moore as he put a nice little deafening kick in behind the line there looked threatening and was taken out so Waikato now will start a fresh set of six from deep in uh, Tamaki's half. Completely unnecessary here, um, and he's gone. Even though they're shaking hands, just you need to be uh, aggressive in the right way, unfortunately. And a sin burn is the result there. And tap and go, last play of the game. The final hooter has gone here at League Park, and little grubbers put in. Ramsey cleans it up at the back. And he'll go down, and it'll conclude this one, guys. The final score, Tamaki Ki Te Tonga winning 54 points to 4 over the Waikato Mana here at League Park. Massive shout-out to the home of the Panthers celebrating their 110th year this year. We'll see you all again tomorrow for some more action from Whangarei at Simonoff Stadium where we have the Sean Johnson Shield and Dean Bell Cup Round 2. We'll see you all again soon.